they're good looking. Listen, if you're over the age of 40, then we need to focus on your hamstrings, your glutes, and your outer hip muscles. These are crucial muscles to keep the knees and the low back happy and healthy. So this workout is going to focus on those areas. We'll also get a lot of core activation as well. Now we'll start with glute activation series. Then we're going to move into a plyometric series to work the power of the hamstrings and glutes and then finish off with a strength circuit. All you need is a pair of heavy dumbbells. For reference, I have a pair of 20s. And if you also have a booty band, hey, grab that as well. All right, let's go get warmed up. All right, for those of you that are unfamiliar with me, my name is PJ Ran, and welcome to my birthday workout. Yes, today is my 53rd birthday if you're doing this workout in real time and I wanted to work my glutes, so I'm taking you along for the ride. Let's start out with some uh, body weight warm-up drills, and then we're gonna move into that glute activation series I was talking about. All right, feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out, push your bum back, bring your arms forward. So when we squat, we almost wanna think about that there's a chair behind us, and our butt is seeking out that chair. Now the reason we cue that is it's gonna allow the knees to bend in a safe position without them shooting too far past the toes, and it's gonna make sure that you hip hinge so that we don't lose that neutral lumbar curve. As you bring the arms in front, make sure the shoulders aren't rounding. Let's do four more here. Four, and three, two, one more. One, let's keep the feet here, hands light behind the ears or maybe beside the temples. Bring the body forward with a hip hinge, soften the knees. So this is a good morning. We're learning this drill because we will be doing this banded, if you have the band, as well as with the dumbbell. So I wanna make sure that you really know how to find that neutral spine, that hip hinge. Keep the elbows pulled back. Feel the pull in the back of your thighs, your hamstring muscles. And then the glutes and hips are also fired up. Last two. One more. Excellent, single leg swings. Let's kick that leg up to the hand. Do as best that you can, but don't bring the hand down, okay? I want the leg to come up, good. So we're starting this series with four rounds, four different uh, glute activation drills. Last one, let's do the other side. Now when I say glute activation, it's simply that. We're activating the glutes and the hips to get them ready for the workout but we're also pre-fatiguing them. This is a pretty tough series we're starting out with. It's all body weight based and down on to our mat. Last two and one. Excellent, feet hip width, step back, give me a bit of a lunge and then hinge forward and bring the feet hip width again. Good, so I want you to hinge through the hip because that's gonna give us more glute activation and this is also going to be an exercise we'll do banded if you have a band with dumbbells. So let's learn this. In the warm up, body weight only. And remember, anytime I grab dumbbells, if you're not comfortable with the move, do a body weight. Learn the move first. Last four, three, two, one more. One, excellent. All right, so, oh, forgot to tell you, turn your watches on. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a quick sip. We're going to start with that activation series in less than 30 seconds. If you're wondering what setting to pick for your watch, you know, I use a HIT setting. I have an Apple Watch, so something similar to that. All right, let's take down ourselves down on the ground. 20 seconds of work, 10 second break, four different moves, four rounds. Bring the feet together, open up the knees, arms down by your side, and we're driving the hips up for a frog bridge. All right, you ready? Pump it up. Now when we drop the bum, it just barely kisses the mat. Keep the knees open. Good, little fast pump here, so we're not resting the hips on the ground. Moving into a side plank when we hear the timer. Woo, time, all right. Come into a side plank, elbow under shoulder, knees stacked, feet together. Now lift the hip up, so now we've got that core activation. Now open the knee. Now we've got the hip activation. So this is a clam exercise, and then we just added the uh, side plank. Now if the side plank isn't working for you and your shoulder, you know, come down. All right. Oh, lie right down too. You can also do it side lying. 
One more here, and then the other side. All right, other side. If you're joining me on the side plank, we want the elbow under the shoulder. That protects the shoulder joint. Knees stacked, feet stacked, lift the hip, press the hips to me now, and open. Good. We have one more new exercise in the series, and then we'll take it back up to that frog bridge. One more. Excellent. Okay, on your back, feet hip width apart, heels close to the bum. Now drive the hips up nice and high, and then just let the right hip drop a little bit, and then drive up, let the left hip drop. Good, so the bridge rocks, we stay up in this bridge position, and we're just kind of single cheek activation here, and that's not the cheeks in your face. <laughs> so you're going to let one hip drop, Good, it's not a big drop time, but it's enough where we're getting just a single glute and hamstring activation. All right, frog pump, arms down by your side, knees are open, press the hips, lower down. You wanna feel the glutes, just again, kiss the ground. You're not hanging out with the ground. Keep those knees out. Moving into that side plank clam. Time, all right, back to the side plank. And again, maybe you're lying down because side planks aren't working for your shoulder or neck. Lift up, push the hips to me, feet stacked, open and close. Yeah, 53 years old today. I've said it before, I'm not sure how that happened. I'm sure you said it too when you reached your birthday. <laughs> How did that happen? Where did the years go? <laughs> Other side. Oh, I still feel like I'm 20. Sometimes I still act like I'm 22. <laughs> Here we go, lift up <laughs> and open. <laughs> I still act young and stupid sometimes. <sighs> All right, bridge rocks coming up next. It's really hard two words to say together. One more. All right, so feet hip width, heels close to the bum. Now we start with the hip drive, so that's your bridge. All right, now just tighten your left glute and let your right side drop. Tighten your right glute, let your left side drop. So I'm also teaching you how to activate your glutes, and this will come in handy if you're one of those people who does bridges and all you feel, or hamstring curls with a stability ball and all you feel are your hamstrings, it's because your glutes aren't activating. Time. All right, from the top, frog bridge. So we gotta make sure those glutes activate so the hamstrings don't do all the work. Ready, and lift. Because the hamstrings, they will take over. Which is kind of cool that you always have a backup system if one muscle group isn't gonna activate, <laughs> but for good movement patterns, we need those glutes to function as well. Woo, side plank, clam. So up and then push the hips forward. So I don't want that bum back, yeah? Okay, cool, good, I was just checking. <laughs> Last two, one more. All right, other side. So hopefully you're starting to feel everything get activated in the hips and glutes. Press up, not so much the hamstrings. We did get those warmed up in the standing warm up. And as I mentioned, I find people can really activate their hamstrings. It's their glutes they have a hard time activating. So that's why I've put this special little series in for us because I do want these glutes of yours, those glutes of yours working when we get into the strength portion. One more, time, Whew. All right, bridge rock, rocks. Oh my goodness, that's so hard to say, say it. Bridge rocks, now say it fast. Uh-huh, see, it's hard. Bridge, here we go. Squeeze the left, drop the right. Squeeze the right, drop the left. <laughs> this one looks kind of funny, doesn't it? It's a good thing we work out at home, hey? <laughs> All 
All right, last round. Here we go. Give me some frogs. Feet together, open those knees, ready, and squeeze the tush. Now see if you can just lightly graze the mat with your glutes. No rest whatsoever. So constant tension in the glutes, pumping the hips up. Again, this is another exercise that looks really funny. <laughs> so lucky for you, you're not on YouTube <laughs> with your raspberry colored tights. But hey, <laughs> that's why you are smart and working out at home. Time, all right, side plank. <laughs> All right, ready? I, these are new. They're from Lululemon. I quite like them. Lift up and open. They have a side pocket. That is absolutely mandatory for any legging that I have now. Good. Squeeze the bum forward. Again, I don't want it pushing back. And sometimes if we're not strong enough to hold the side plank, that'll happen. So maybe give me a little glute squeeze to make sure your bum's not back. Time. Other side. Here we go, lift, elbow under shoulder, feet together, open those knee, that knee. I don't know, well, some of you will remember because you guys have been amazing supporters of me and my channel and have been with me for many years, but do you remember my 50th birthday when all I asked for was a closet organizer from Loving Husband? Yeah, well, I'm 53 today, time. <laughs> And he finally got it done last month. <laughs> Here we go. Bridge rocks. Give me that bridge. And now drop one cheek. Drop the other. Yeah, you know. He said it took him some time to plan. Well, three years to plan? Okay. That's his craft. He's a handyman. That's his job. So his actual family, me, <laughs> don't get the same handyman that everybody else does time because apparently I don't pay that well <laughs> all right we're moving into the plyometric now okay now there I know there are some of you that are going to um not enjoy this exercise <laughs> or look at it and watch me do it and go whoa PJ what do you want um I'm on the ground by the way <laughs> no all right so this is a plyometric hamstring glute bridge one leg mouthful what we want to do is bring the leg in and hop up. You're going to push into the ground with the hand and pop up. Now, I totally get it that that's not going to be for everyone. If that's not for you, I want you to cross over to figure four. Take a look because there's going to be no mini me because I just want you to watch this. And you'll do the series, foot on the ground, one-legged bridge. All right? If you're joining me, maybe try a couple, see if it works for you. If it does, doesn't, there's your backup. We have 20 seconds of work, each leg two rounds. Okay, you ready? Doesn't matter what leg, let's bring the heel close to the bum. Now you're gonna use this leg that's in the, in the air as a little bit of momentum. You're gonna drive it into the chest and push through the ground and lift up. Woo! And you are pushing through, powering up through that leg that's pressing up into the hamstring and glute. This is a plyometric drill working power time whoo baby all right other side so again don't be afraid to use the other leg rock it and push into the ground three two one go whoo so i push up this leg is not my strong leg for power oh maybe you're having an eye-opening experience like i am right now Breathe, almost there, time. All right, one more each and then we move on, promise. <laughs> Whew, I'm feeling my arms too, I'm really pushing in the ground. Ready, set, go. Good. Breathe. A lot of abs engaged too. Time. All right, water break after this, I promise. We deserve it. Actually, we should have birthday cake. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, and go. That's okay. We can all meet up later. Have coffee and birthday cake. Oh. Yes, I am struggling too. It is real. 
time. Woo. All right. Grab a sip of water. We're moving into our strength portion. If you have a band, we're going to need that for the first strength circuit. All right, grab a quick sip of water, and then I want your band, if you have one, just above the knees. And then we'll start with one dumbbell, and then advanced people have your other dumbbell close by as well. So we're moving into that good morning movement where we did the warm up. Take a look, you're gonna hold the dumbbell close to the chest. Get the legs out so you feel resistance on the hip and the booty band's trying to pull the knees in and you've activated the outer hip muscles to not allow that to happen. So this is not working my outer hip, working my outer hip. Not working, working. Okay, cool. And then from there, dumbbell stays close. Good morning. And then hip extension. So let's give it a try. Feet apart. All right, activate into those outer hip muscles. Hold the dumbbell up high. Now it's almost like a deadlift. So hip hinge, but the dumbbell stays really close to the body. Up, press leg out, hip hinge, up, press leg back. So that hip extension is gonna work into the glutes. The good morning, we got glutes and then hamstrings. Alternating legs. You also are working your arms, aren't you? <laughs> By holding that dumbbell there. And the core, so this is a standing core exercise as well. A Couple more reps, and then we're moving into alternating lunge. One more. All right, so if you decide you wanna keep one dumbbell, you'll hold it goblet style. Advanced people, dumbbell in each hand. We're doing that hip hinge lunge like we did in warm up. So step back with your left leg, hinge, lunge, and back, good. Right leg, hinge down and back. So if you've got the band, you're not gonna do a full stride behind you and you don't need to. You're gonna come down, sink down, hip hinge, chest over thigh, and really feel that front leg glute. Now we'll go back to the good morning for a final set. So we've got two sets of these strength movements. Keep the shoulders pulled back and down, not allowing that upper back to round. So once again, Leg exercise, but guess what? You got your posture muscles fired up. Oh yeah. Oh, happy birthday glutes time. Okay, so bend the knees if you need to get rid of a dumbbell. Remember, get the legs out so you feel those outer hips fired up. Push the bum back and press back. So here's the side view, down, press, down, press. Still keep looking up a little bit as you're lowering down. This can help you keep that neck posture. Balancing on that one leg requires a lot of stability and a lot of core strength. One more, give me a press back and lunge. Again, one dumbbell holding it goblet or no dumbbell, okay, or advance. Dumbbell each hand. Now let's start with those feet hip width. Give me a half a stride, hip hinge, lower down, as low as you can. See what feels good for the knee though. We'll get rid of the booty band really quick after this movement and move into our final strength circuit. Shoulder blades pulled back. Good. This is another standing core exercise. Last couple of reps, one more, and dumbbells down, get rid of that booty band, Woo. all right, now rock the dumbbells, that means they're resting on the shoulder, we have a one and a half squat, so I want you to follow me, feet shoulder width, now drop down, deep for a squat, 
come up halfway, drop down again, and drive up. So you're doing one and a half squat. One, half, lower. It's not a pulse. Down, up. Gaze is up. We learned that squat in our warm up, hip hinging. And with the dumbbells racked, a lot of core involvement. Two more. Last one. All right, mirror me. Take your right leg, just bend it. Don't worry about it. We want the right leg working, okay? So, or your left. Push your booty rear, give me a deadlift. Come up halfway, come down, and drive up. So now one and a half deadlift. I don't have a lot of weight in this leg that's kickstand. Hi, Bella. Oh, George is lying on your bed, isn't he, Bella? We have a bed back there for Bella. Because the German Shepherd George, he'll sleep anywhere. But Bella has, <laughs> she has standards. <laughs> <laughs> She's just standing above him right now, staring at him. Like, hey, you actually are lying on my bed. <laughs> oh, I almost feel like stopping the video just to go kick him off for her. <laughs> Woo, time. All right, so by adding that half lift and then back down again, we have what's called time under tension with the hamstring. So kicks down the other leg, not a lot of weight in it. It's just simply there to help you balance. We want all the working, all the leg, all the work in the front leg. Whew, never mind. Shoulder blades pull back and down. Drive up. Good. So you come all the way down, come up halfway. I'm coming up just until about my kneecaps, and then I drive up again. Oh my goodness, that little half lift, super effective. Can you feel that hamstring? Hopefully you're saying yes, PJ. If you're saying no, PJ, recheck your form or maybe you need heavier dumbbells. Time, just throwing it out there. All right, we got one more of each. Yeah, perfect. Rock the dumbbells up, feet wide, toes turned out. So one and a half squat, ready, three, two, one, sink down deep. Drive up halfway. I drive up all the way. One more. Release. Woo, that was no joke. Me or me, we're just gonna kick down this leg. All right, dumbbells in front, pull the shoulders back and down, belly button to spine. Here we go, soften the knee, hip hinge, come down. Come up halfway, back all the way down, drive up, stand up. Now, if you have sensitivity, sensitivity in your low back with this, you know, place your hands light behind the ears instead of dumbbells, just like we did in the warm up. You'll be working your low back extensors, which we all need to strengthen without a lot of load to the lower lumbar. Here you go. Last couple of reps. One more. Woo. All right, this is our last exercise. Woohoo. So soften that working leg. Other leg is kickstand. Not a lot of weight in it. Deal? Perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. Go down. Lift up halfway. 
Good. Go down. Halfway. Now, if you're using really heavy dumbbells, you might start to feel your grip, right? Your forearms, they get stronger as you go. But there's no doubt we are limited by our grip strength with how much we can lift. So this is why doing movements like this, time under tension, can help push past any plateaus. One more. Drive up. Woo, baby. Nicely done. Whew, let's grab a sip of water. Ah, all right. Let's give the glutes and hamstrings some love. How's that? <laughs> now that we just beat the crap out of them. Let's take ourselves down onto our butt. Bring the hands behind you. I find it more comfortable with my fingertips pointed away from my shoulders, but you can also have fingertips pointed towards your feet. Left ankle crosses over right thigh. Straighten your arms and drive your chest towards that right, that left thigh, that left calf, and flex that left foot. So we're protecting the knee there. Now, if you want a little bit more of a stretch, bend the elbows, walk that foot in towards the hip. Woo! And press yourself up and say hello to that left glute and hip. Yes, these Lululemon pants were quite comfortable. I would buy another pair. I don't need another pair, but <laughs> I will probably buy another pair. <laughs> the last thing I need is any more dry fit in my closet or running shoes. <gasps> yeah, I've got a bit of a problem. Actually, it's only a problem if you admit it, isn't it? There you go. I'm not going to admit it. Bend the elbows. Other leg. Press the chest. Now, let's flex that right foot. Just gives a, some support to that right knee. Now, foot towards the hip if you want a bit more of a stretch. Oh, gosh. That feels so good. Bend the elbows. If you have a booty band, you can grab that to help stretch your hamstrings. Lie down and place your booty band around the left foot and use that as a stretch tie. Now, start here for me. You can have a slight bend in the knee, you know, whatever's gonna help you stretch your hamstring best. So try it, try straightening it and then try a slight bend and try more of a bend and pull it in more. See where you get the best stretch for you. A couple of things I want you to be aware of though is one, that the hamstring isn't shaking. If it's shaking, you've taken it too far and I want you to let it go. Second thing is the back of the neck. We want it long, so maybe lift the head, tuck the chin, lower down. Now, if you're able to get to 90 degrees with this leg and there's no shaking, feel free to straighten the other leg. And then just relax the rest of the body as best you can. And that includes the arms that are holding onto your band or your leg. All right, if that other leg is straight, let's bend it. To get rid of the tie or the band if you have it, and then now straighten that right leg. Right hand comes and grabs on the outside of that left knee, and let's pull it across for a side twist and um, feel that into the gluten hip. Now let's anchor the upper body with that left arm, lined up with the shoulder, palm down, and then if you're able to, turn your gaze towards the left fingertips. Now, if you shouldn't be rotating to the spine because of osteoporosis, osteopenia, spinal stenosis, a nice little gentle twist that you could do is having a couple of pillows close by. So say I have two big pillows here, my feet are hip width, and I just drop down and my legs are supported by those pillows. I've got a gentle twist here, but nothing stressful on the vertebrae or spine. So. Those are your options. I try to give osteo-friendly options for our workouts, stretches. Um, 
<laughs> I don't do as good of a job, so I try to educate as I go. And back to center. So keep sticking with me and hopefully you'll learn and you'll be able to apply what you learn so that you can draw that right knee across now. Be educated to train your best self. If you need to make a sub out or if something's not feeling right, you know, maybe you've been listening to me and you know what you can switch out. And back to center, spine on the mat, pull the knees in. If you can't do a deep um, knees to chest, you would hold here, that spine is nicely supported. But if you can do a deep knees to chest, bring the knees right in. If you're able to, grab onto the hands just above the shins. Back of the neck is long, maybe close the eyes. And just feel that ground supports you. Feel the blood flowing through your body. Feel the energy that's now been created within. Remember how good you feel. And hopefully you can think about that the next time you don't want to work out. And I don't mean that jokingly. We all have days, myself included, where we just don't want to work out. So try to remember how good you feel when you're done. That might be enough of a motivator to get you going. Another thing that I tell my clients, if you don't feel like working out, just get your shoes on and try five minutes. 99.9% .9 of the time, you'll keep going past the five minutes. But even at the five minute mark, if you are still thinking, nope, I am not into this, then you know what? You've tried your best. Pat yourself on the back and stop exercising and go do something else. This is a journey, there's no stop and start. So if you take breaks, that's okay. It's a journey, you'll keep going when you get back at it. Roll onto your side, use your arms to press yourself up into a seated position. You can have a seat cross-legged, maybe you popped yourself up on a pillow or if you have a yoga bolster close by, I find it really helpful, especially if you have tight hips. Stacking that vertebrae nice and tall. Sliding the chin in slightly so the ears are over the shoulders. Taking a deep breath in through the nose, filling the belly fully. Holding for a beat. And then let's exhale with some noise through the mouth. We call this cleansing breath. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in, keeping the shoulders down. Fill it through the nose, into the belly, into your back. Pause and let it go. <sighs> Mouth closed. Find that normal breathing pattern. Put a smile on your face. Thank you so much for joining me in my birthday workout. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I look forward to working out with you in our next video together. Bye. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> huh? I know. I have a voice like Adele. I, I know. I know. I should try out. I should try out for, is American Idol still going? Or am I too old for American Idol? What's the other one? The voice. The voice. You'll see me there. Okay, I'm going to show you George stole Bella's bed. There's Bella's bed. George. George, did you know you're on Bella's bed? You don't care, do you? Well, you're going to be kicked off as soon as I turn this camera off, even though you do look awfully cute.